I did a review of my Magic Makes Cook Expert two years ago and people are watching those videos from when I first tested it and they are commenting asking, are you still using it? The short answer is yes. And the long answer is this video, five ways that I'm actually using my Cook Expert on a regular basis with a bonus new discovery at the end. Number one is mashed potatoes. I love combining the two main features of the Cook Expert, which is the temperatures and the processing. And mashed potatoes is a perfect example of this. I just chuck in the potatoes and the water and I boil at the temperature that I know is going to be perfect and the time I know is going to be perfect for the potatoes that I use. And that's what's great about the Cook Expert is that you know that if you've done something that worked one time, you can just remember those times and those temperatures for when you do exactly the same thing again. Then when the potatoes are nice and soft, I just tip out most of the water and then I add the ingredients that I want to use in there. Some milk, cheese, spices, mustard, whatever you want. Then I process it till I have a smooth mash. Now mashed potatoes are obviously not a hard thing to make with a saucepan and a masher, but it just helps me be able to focus on the other parts of the meal and have the cook expert be more of like an assistant that does the tedious work and does it really well. For a smooth mash, if you love that, it's brilliant, but basically you can choose the texture that you want. It's also great if I'm using some other vegetables for the meal because I could just pop them in a steamer basket on top of the boiling potatoes and use the same water and the same energy. Number two is soups. I can't get enough of a creamy soup and again the cook expert is perfect for this because it goes up to really high temperatures and it can do the continuous stirring so being able to leave it is just really really nice and a combination of vegetables coconut milk and some cashew nuts that's my favorite it's a winner every time and to be honest as a mum one of my new favorite things about the cook expert is being able to set a program running and know that it will be cooked in the correct way and then also turned off when it's done so it takes a lot of stress away if I suddenly have to leave the kitchen and attend to something that's going on and then I get distracted which often happens at the moment I'll just chuck in the ingredients that I need and then run the program and not have to worry about it this is also one of the greatest ways to avoid food waste for me by using the cook expert if you want to maximize your cook expert use and minimize on cleanup you can do some mashed potatoes in there and then do soup afterwards because if you get a bit of mashed potato in your soup it doesn't really matter so that would be a great way to do massive batch cooking you have tons of mashed potato and soup all done in one go number three is tomato sauce i do something between chopped tomatoes and a tomato sauce in uh, the cook expert fairly regularly and i keep it in bottles in the fridge or in the freezer because it goes in so many different dishes like uh, lasagnas or other italian style dishes or even burrito mixes and much much more you can even put some in your soup if you like i love using smaller tomatoes like cherry or plum as they don't have hard bits that I have to cut out so I basically just chuck all the tomatoes in there. It's a great way of using that continuous stirring of the cook expert and a lower temperature because you can set the temperature exactly to the degree that you want. It doesn't have to boil in this case so it's brilliant for tomato sauces and then you have a huge batch and it's very easy to freeze as well. Number four is bread. Bread is the way that I use the Cook Expert the most. It is just something that I make a lot of, but it also really utilizes the machine perfectly as you can knead the dough. You don't have to do that by hand and it also rises in there as well. I've done a separate video on bread in the Cook Expert, so I won't go into too much detail about that here. You can check that out if you want to. Something that I've done a lot lately is Scandi styles of soft bread rolls and they call for some butter to be melted and then adding in milk at a low temperature. So again, it's just brilliant for being able to gently melt something, then bring it down to a warm but not too hot temperature and then adding in the rest of the ingredients and then doing the kneading. It can of course be nice to do some baking in a more manual way. It's nice and an enjoyable activity. 
However, it's something that I need to do so regularly and have ready for breakfast and other meals. So it's a really efficient way for me to make it without having to do any thinking and very little cleanup. Number five is risotto. Chopping, stirring, adding ingredients bit by bit. Risotto in The Cook Expert is just so delicious and really, really easy. Something that would stop me from making risotto as often as I am now that I have The Cook Expert is having to stir continuously for quite a long time. But now with The Cook Expert, it's one of the easiest meals as it just pretty much makes itself from chopping the onion and the mushrooms, which is the version that I do the most, to the stirring of the liquids and letting it simmer at the right temperature. I really love doing it for this. I always make an extra big batch because I know that I can cool down the leftovers and make some stuffed vine leaves the next day. I've done a short on this so you can check that out if you like. If you've stuck with me this far, here's a little bonus tip that I sort of accidentally discovered the other day. I was making some melted chocolate in The Cook Expert, which it's great for, of course, in terms of temperatures because you can control the temperature completely and keep it running not too hot but still melted however I did feel like using uh, the big metal bowl for a tiny bit of chocolate just felt a bit pointless as I had to you know clean the whole thing just for having melted a little bit of chocolate that takes up about 10% of the bowl so I ran the rinse program which I love by the way with some water and some washing up liquid and then I opened up the lid and the water and chocolate had pretty much made like a big old bowl of hot chocolate. Uh, now, as I say, I had put washing up liquid in so I couldn't actually drink it, but it made me think that next time I use it for melting chocolate, I'll just put a bit of milk and a bit of water in there and run that at a higher temperature so you get some leftover chocolate making you a hot chocolate as a bonus after having done your melted chocolate for whatever you needed it for. So. That's a lovely little bonus tip there, and I will be using it again. Drop any questions or comments that you have below. I'd love to hear from you. Those are the five main ways that I actually use my Cook Expert.